Okay, now we're gonna deal with a two punch combination. Somebody's gonna come to the body and then the head. So again, we're gonna take the opening, same, we're gonna cover, we're gonna block down from here. He pulls that around and now this fist is gonna turn up, we're gonna rotate, face my point of contact, and now the peach one hand can come to the face, come to the side of the neck. Hi, my name is Keith Mazza. Most of you know me as Sifu Keith. Welcome to our channel. Hey everybody, Sifu Keith here, and today is another one of our Xing Yi Chuan videos. It's how to apply Pi Chuan, the metal form. But before we do that, I need you to go over to the boxes, click like and subscribe, and click the bell to always to be kept up with our latest videos. Once again, thank you for your support, and have a great day. So let's go over some applications to Pi Chuan, the opening from here. As we raise up and grab down. So in Xing Yi, they deal with a lot of body blows and uppercuts. So what we're gonna do is Keith's gonna step up and throw an uppercut to my body. I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna pin down from here. So in the form, we go from here and the hand shoots up. As he comes in, I wanna cover down from here, bring this hand up for cover and strike up into the body. Check, strike up into the body. So a little faster, coming in, cover, strike up into the body. So from here, drilling that hand up, that's part of the drilling aspect in the shin. So one more time. Stepping off, I cuff from here, because remember, touch one hand, look at the other. If he fires that hand, this will come through and check, and you can drill up. So one more. Coming through, I step down, I cover, and I fire to the body. That's the first application. Okay, now we're gonna deal with a two-punch combination. Somebody's gonna come to the body, and then the head. So again, we're gonna take the opening, same, we're gonna cover, we're gonna block down from here. He pulls that around, and now this fist is gonna turn up, we're gonna rotate, face my point of contact, and now the peach one hand can come to the face, come to the side of the neck. Okay, so again, stepping in, cover from here, one, come in two, striking, and I'm all to what? Checking for that hand. Again, step off the line, avoid the force, cover with the first fist, Strike to the face, or you can strike to the throat. That's the second application. So another application is coming from the movement where we turn and we rotate here. So you can deal with an uppercut, but it's also very good to deal with kicks. So round kicks coming in, I want to get inside his force from here. You can attack the knee or attack into the shins, okay? So again, from here, I'm gonna block the kick. I've created space from here. Right, I'm not worried about that hand coming in because once I block, one more time, I'm gonna come in from here and that hand's gonna fire through. Here's that turning hand again, right? Turning hand. So here, coming through, I strike, this comes up, I'm gonna turn and I can strike to the body or use the peach one to the jaw. So again, a little faster, coming in, cover from here, cover from here, strike or strike. One more time. So from here, Cover, cover, strike, and strike. So our next variation, somebody throws a straight punch to the face. I want to step off the line. This backhand is going to come up, cover, and the word la in Chinese means to grab a ball, la a la. So he's going to come in, I'm going to step off the line, I'm going to lop, and strike. Okay, you can take it, use the fist to turn, cover, and strike. Cover and strike. You can also, if your opponent is too tall for you, as you're coming in from here, you can also come into the body here. So instead of using the peach one to cut here, you can punch and go into the body. So again, one more time, stepping off the line, cover and strike, or strike. Again, stepping off the line, cover and strike, or strike. So well, let's utilize some of the sinking in the form. The straight punch comes in. I'm gonna catch it with this straight fist, and now the peach one, I'm gonna use this as a grabbing motion. So one more time, I'm here, I'm covering the grab, and I'm gonna squat, I'm not gonna bend over, I'm gonna utilize my body to pull him down, and then fire the peach one up into the throat. So again, from here, I step off the line, sink him down, and come back up into the throat. One more time, step off cover, pull down, strike up into the throat. So nobody in a fight just throws one punch. So we have the object, touch one hand, look at the other. So here we're gonna deal with a jab or a lunging straight punch into a hook punch.
straight punch comes in. I'm going to step off the line. I don't care if he pulls it back. I don't need to grab it, but he throws the round punch coming in. And now I'm going to take the peach one. I'm going to rotate my upper body. Trap down on his elbow, bring your arm down, and use the second peach one hand to go into the jaw. So again, coming through, cover. He throws the second one, cover down, peach one. Walking through, one, two, and three. And now try and make these two come simultaneously. One and two. And then we'll deal with this one in the next video. So one more time. Stepping off the line, one and two. So now we're gonna deal with a three piece. We got a jab. So the second hand could be a cross or it could be a jab, a hook and a hook. So when the first punch comes in, I'm gonna step off the line moving from my Santi. The second one comes in. I'm gonna utilize my peach one hand to cover here. Throws the other hook. My peach one hand is gonna come in here. I can either strike using the handle or use this as an uppercut. So again, punch comes in. I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna cover, and I'm gonna cover. Again, punch comes in, I'm gonna cover, cover, or this time I can turn and strike with an uppercut. Again, stepping off cover, cover, and cover. Last one, stepping off cover, cover, and cover. These are some applications to the P1 form. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. And when you hit the subscribe button, please hit the bell notification to all so we can let you know as soon as we put out a new video. And we want you to know that we're here for you. So leave your comments below. We're going to get back to each and every one of you to make sure your questions get answered. And once again, thank you. We look forward to being your all things Wing Chun and more for many years to come.